Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be giving you guys pretty much my impressions and my review on a new product that I just received recently in my June Ipsy Glam Bag. And it is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Now I got the shade Light Beige and this is the bottle right here. So of course I don't have anything on my face. So I did prime and moisturize of course, and I primed using the Too Faced Hangover RX. It is my go-to holy grail primer right now. I obviously have been using it and I use it all the time. Even if I'm not wearing any makeup, I feel like it just hydrates my skin and it is just perfection. I'm pretty much gonna give you guys my first impressions on wearing it for a few hours. I will be going to work though, so I won't be able to update you guys until later on in the day or when my night is over. This bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It comes with a pump. That's always nice, isn't it? It is one fluid ounce. I will insert the price here on how much this product is in stores now. I think it is fully released in like Sephora and wherever they sell Too Faced products. So I'm gonna go ahead and because I already primed and moisturized, I'm gonna go ahead and apply one half of my face with my Beauty Blender and the other half of my face with my Sigma F80 Kabuki brush, which are pretty much the only two ways I apply foundation. So we're just gonna get started. I'm gonna pump two pumps out and I'm going to take my F80 Kabuki brush and go ahead and apply it. It doesn't really have a scent. I do like the way it feels on the skin and it's applying really nicely while I stipple it with the brush. There's no streaking, which is always nice. It gives really good coverage from this side. Let's see how it applies with the Booty Blender. I think with the Beauty Blender, even though it's, uh, I guess, more moist, more wet, in a sense, it applies just as pigmented, I feel. Normally I can tell right away which application I prefer, and I must say I cannot pick which application I prefer. I have no streaking here, no blotchiness from the brush. I stippled everything in, it blended beautifully, and here with the Beauty Blender, of course, I got a very beautiful application. The Beauty Blender, you can't really go wrong. Now it still feels a little tacky on my skin, but I feel like it will pretty much dry to a nice satin finish that's kind of like what I'm getting here, even with the application of the brush or the beauty blender. So I'm gonna go ahead and conceal powder and finish off the rest of my face, and I'll get back to you guys and give you my overall first impression. So I have already applied the rest of my face, and I must say I really am loving the finish of this foundation. It dried very satin, not matte, not dewy, it was just the perfect mix of the two. It dried very satin, very pretty. It was a little tacky still, so I did set it with powder, of course. I used my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to set the rest of my face, along with um, my Cody Airspun powder that I use for under the eyes. So I think it's set beautifully. I'm loving how it blends into my neck. It is seamless to me. I don't know how bright it looks in the camera. I will say it is a perfect match for my face. It doesn't necessarily match my neck right now, which is a lot more tan than it has been recently, but I did add some bronzer and it just helped highlight the face. So from my perspective here in real life, it looks like a perfect match. I don't know how it's translating on camera. It might look a little brighter than it normally looks in person. I noticed that while I'm filming. So it is now 9.52 and I will be heading to work very, very shortly and I should be there for a few hours. So when I get back, I'll try to check in with you guys and let you know how it wore. Okay, my loves, it is 3.54 a.m. And I think I left the house like a little bit before 10 o'clock. I would say I had my makeup on around 9.30 this evening. So it's been at least mm, like six hours. So this is the first time I'm really looking at the foundation. I had a really bad allergy. Like all of a sudden I was sneezing and coughing and just scratching my eye. So this eye took a beating and like I lost a little bit of my liner in the front and in the back whatever so this is my first time really looking at the foundation and i know that i powdered my face a little too much today it was not necessary so for me powdering too much i must say that my foundation looks pretty good 
there's only a little bit of wear right here on the tip of the nose because I like sneezed and I had a tissue and yeah so there was a little transfer from that but overall the foundation looks really really good I did cake on the powder so that's something that I am dealing with I will say that the makeup looks like I just applied it I won't even lie I wish I didn't powder as much as you know I did because I didn't need it so I do think this foundation is more of a medium maybe buildable to full coverage to me i feel like i got full coverage today because i had a lot of redness going on on my face today for some reason and i had some blemishes that needed some covering up and i feel like it did that overall this foundation i think would be good and beneficial for both oily skin and dry skin i think this is a nice neutral foundation i don't feel like um, it made my skin too oily even though i'm dry my oily areas do tend to react to certain foundations and this I don't know I mean I know it's only six hours but I feel like it's worked out for the best so I absolutely love this foundation so far I will be trying it out for the rest of the week and it will be warmer the rest of the week so let's hope that this will be my new BFF now the shade range is pretty decent I feel like they could have varied it a little bit more but I went online and saw that there was at least I want to say 12 shades so I was impressed because that's still a good start up though so I'm really really excited that for the six hours that I wore it that it wore beautifully I'm gonna go ahead now and take off my makeup and try to sleep because I have another shift coming tonight so I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I'll see you guys in my next video love you guys bye